age of Tanya. We are given three facts. The ratio between the present ages of Tanya and her brother is 3 is to 4. And after 5 years, the ratio between the ages of Tanya and Rahul will be 4 is to 5. Rahul is 5 years older than Tanya. So these are the three facts which we have to find the present age of Tanya. These pattern of questions appear in Gaumann, Altel, HCL and TCS exams. Let us see how to solve this. If you see, we can consider the present age of Tanya and Rahul in the ratio 3 is to 4, which is nothing but 3x and 4x. They have a factor x. And after 5 years, Tanya's age and Rahul's age will be in the ratio 4 is to 5. That is 3x and 4x will be equal to 4 is to 5 after 5 years. So plus 5 to both of them. And a third condition is Rahul's age is 5 years older than Tanya. So Rahul's age is nothing but Tanya's age plus 5. From 1 and 2, we can write down as 3x that is your present age of Tanya plus 5 because after 5 years the ratio is given so 3x plus 5 by the age of Rahul is 4x after 5 years it will be 4x plus 5 and the ratio is 4 is to 5 after 5 years so our equation goes like this Cross multiplying the values over here, we get 15x plus 25 is equal to 16x plus 20. That gives you your x value to be 5. If your x value is 5, then Tanya's age is nothing but 3x. So, 3 5 is nothing but 15. We have found out the present age of Tanya from 1 and 2 facts. Taking the first and the third fact, we get Rahul's age is nothing but 5 times more than Tanya's age. So, Rahul's age is 4x plus Tanya's age is given to be 3x so Tanya's age plus 5 will be Rahul's age so our equation is 4x is equal to 3x plus 5 Taking your x terms towards left, you get x value to be 5. Since your x has 5 to be its value, so Tanya's age is nothing but 3 times x, that is again 15. So using 1 and 3, we can also find Tanya's age. Let us consider the th third statement alone. The Tanya's present age is considered to be years and Rahul's present age will be nothing but t plus 5 years thus from 2 and 3 that is your second statement and third statement we can write down the equation as follows Tanya's age is nothing but t years so t by Rahul's age is t plus 5, t plus 5, which is equal to 4 is to 5, so 4 by 5. So from 2 and 3, we can write down the equation as follows. So 2 and 3 will also give you the answer, therefore either of the two options is enough to find out the ages of Tanya and Rahul, either 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 1 and 3 either two of the options is more than sufficient to find the present age of Tanya and Rahul 
These type of questions is similar to data sufficiency questions. Let us move on to our next example. It is given that the average age of employees working in a department is 30 years. In the next year, 10 workers will be retiring. We have to find the average age of the employees the next year. We have two supporting facts given to solve the question. Facts are, retirement age is 60 years. There are 50 employees in the department. So, how to find the average age in the next year? Let us see. We know that the average has a formula as this. Average is nothing but sum of observations by number of observations. So, it is given that average age of employees is 30 years. So, 30 is equal to sum of observations by number of observations is we have 50 employees in the department. So, there are 50 employees. So, the total age of employees is nothing but 30 into 50 which is equal to 1500 years. So that will be the sum of ages of 50 employees. Next year, 10 employees will be retiring. So your strength of employees reduces from 50 to 40. To find the total age of 40 employees next year, we have to subtract the 10 employees age who will be turning 60 years. So 10 employees who are leaving will have their age to be 60. So we have to subtract 60 into 10 that is 600 from the total. And the remaining 40 employees will have their age to be one year more. Hence, 40 times 1 is equal to 40. You have to add it. 60 employees, 60 is the employees age who are leaving. That is 10 employees are leaving. So we are subtracting that. Plus, each employee in the remaining 40 is added with one age. So solving this equation, you get 940. So the average age of next year is nothing but sum of age of 40 employees that is 940 divided by 40 that is the total number of employees which is equal to 23 and a half years. Thus both the first and the second statement is necessary to find the answer as we have used this statement over here and this statement over here. So both the statements are necessary to find out the answer. These questions are similar to data sufficiency questions and they are important. Thank you so much for joining GTEC on Problems on Ages. Hope you had fun solving the problems.